What's up, this is Casey with RampantDesignTools.com. So far you might have learned a little bit about After Effects and you might be thinking to yourself, okay, that's cool um, if I were a motion graphics artist or if I were doing visual effects all the time, but what if I just do normal projects? What if I'm really more into camera and more into editing and filmmaking, not so much the effects or the graphics? Well, I just want to show you a couple ways in After Effects that you can enhance your project, maybe fix problems. And after you see these things, you might be approaching your next project a little bit differently. So here's my first example. Shaky footage driving through this neighborhood. And so it's not too bad, but there's a couple things. First of all, these houses are a little bit blown out. And second of all, this sky is kind of boring. So to make this shot a little bit more interesting and a little bit cooler, I replaced the sky and I graded the footage just a little bit in After Effects. And so this didn't take very long. It has to do with tracking the movement of the camera. So as I move through the footage, I have my null carrying my tracking data and it just tracks the movement of that camera. And it's both tracking the position and the rotation of this footage. And I tracked a few different points on these houses and then keyframe that null a little bit just to help with some of the motion differences. So I end up with a very different shot and a very much improved, much more interesting sky. I also boosted the saturation and played with some of the brightness levels on these houses just a little bit. Next thing I wanna show you to enhance one of your shots is making kind of fake zoom and a fake camera movement. Here we have a nice shot of the ocean crashing on some rocks at the beach. Looks pretty cool, but we can make it even better. So here's that same shot, but with a fake camera zoom, as well as a little bit more added camera shake. I also added some subtle depth of field, as well as a grade to the footage. And so we end up having a much more interesting shot, especially if you're mixing this with a bunch of shots that are handheld, adding shake to a shot will really help you match that footage. And we're gonna go over that just a little bit more in the next tutorial. But as you can see, it it definitely makes the shot a little bit more interesting and um, gives it a little bit more character. And so I kind of already covered it, but I'll walk you through what I did on this shot. I have my main background layer, the ocean layer, which is just a regular video layer. Um, and I keyframe the position a little bit, keyframe the scale a little bit, and I actually have an expression on the position, which we are going to go over in the next tutorial. Um, but that's where that shaking movement comes from. I also have some camera lens blur on my depth of field and, and this might be kind of hard to see in the tutorial but basically I'm keeping right here in focus and then blurring everything behind and in front of it. And this is also keyframed to be a little bit more blurry when the camera zoomed in and when it's zoomed out it's a little bit less blurry because that's you know realistic to how a camera would act. Above that I have my depth map which is used in my camera lens blur like we went over in the pre-comps tutorial. And then I just have my grade which is just bringing down the red channel a little bit. And bam, end up with a really cool shot. Also, even if you consider yourself pretty much just an editor, you're going to find yourself in a situation where you need to make a title or some kind of graphic. And of course After Effects is awesome for that. And so I kind of threw together this little title, and this is for an action movie. So there we go. There's our action movie title. A lot cooler than a text layer in Final Cut. And so to break this down just a little bit, I have a black solid for my background. I have some camera blur, some, some bokeh or bokeh or however you say it in my background. And then I have, and then I have what I call whooshes, and this is just... A bunch of solids that are animated to fly from over here to over here and they're pre-comped together. Then we have my action movie graphics and this layer is keyframed with the position, rotation, and scale to kind of do this little whoosh thing. And then we have more blue whooshes and this is just the same layer with a tint. And so this one's tinted blue, this one's tinted yellowish. Then we have this little rock texture which is multiplied over the other layers. And we have a bunch of this action movie layer duplicated and just we just have this flashing on and off at random positions and scales and rotations and just kind of add some little glitchy things. 
makes it look cool. And then we have, of course, Rampant Scratch is 30 multiplied over the whole thing, and we end up having a really cool graphic with not that much work. Pretty much just using the goodies in After Effects and a couple textures. And this is one more graphics-based tip. Um, After Effects is really good at making lower thirds. You can make something like this in Final Cut, but once you get a little bit more complicated, I have this layer flying in and there's a texture and there's drop shadows on all the layers. And, and this is completely built in After Effects, no Photoshop, no Illustrator, nothing like that. You can just make really, really cool looking lower thirds pretty darn easily. So what I like to do in After Effects is put a sample video behind my lower third and I'll make my lower third and build it out and then I'll just turn off my background or I can set it as a guide layer because remember guide layers don't render. And then I can render this comp with an alpha and so then I can just throw it on top of a video in Final Cut or Premiere and it works really, really well. So I hope that helps you editors think outside of the box a little bit. Take a little while, spend a little time, and learn After Effects because it's gonna help you with everything you do. Not to mention that a lot of the concepts in After Effects, the concepts of layers and parenting and animation and keyframes and transfer modes, all those concepts are gonna translate into other programs as well, especially the Adobe programs. And so even if you learn After Effects and you don't ever really use it again, the things you learn learning After Effects are going to be really helpful for you. If you have any questions, post a comment on the video. Once again, I'm Casey Ferris with RampantDesignTools.com. Thanks for watching.